So Brody, we're making a Fawn 101 care video. What's going on? Uh, we got some fawns out here, 14 of them. 14 bottle babies? 14 fawns. And you gotta feed them every six hours? Every six hours. How's that going? It's going pretty good. I noticed there's some dirt on the floor. What's that about? They like to eat dirt. It's good for them. It helps jumpstart their immune system. So they need the bacteria in their stomach to get their stomach working properly. A fawn without dirt in their diet can get sick. Mm -hmm. And a fawn that eats bad dirt can still get sick and get bad bacteria. Yeah. Boy, that's a challenge. So we're feeding 14 little babies here. They come in at night, they listen to a little bit of music, they get their towels washed every day, it's time to wash them. They be sprinkle a little dirt on their towel to keep them going healthy. Yep. Now we'll move through the process. You guys ready to eat? No, you're not gonna do it when I'm here, are you? It's dinner time, breakfast time, you know, it doesn't matter to you guys. It's just time to eat, right? Hi. Is it time to eat? Look at all the fawns. We got little 33 here, right tag is a buck. He's getting four and a half ounces, is that right Brody? Yep. And Dylan, you're doing what? I'm making him poop. You're water pooping we call it. It's kind of like waterboarding, but it's not. It's very important you guys that we look at their poop daily. We have to look at it and see if it's okay. If they got a spot of blood, they're gonna get some antibiotic. If it's loose, we got other things too. So the uh, cord that we're adding is a microscopic parasite and that'll cause a little bit of blood in their stool. So we give them a five day treatment cord. Every deer in the wild has some coccidiosis. It affects them in times of stress. So we wanna look at their poop every day. And so we stimulate them, mom licks them. We used to wipe her paper towel, but we do this once a day and we just stimulate them a little bit around the butt with a little rag or a little water and they'll go to the bathroom in the sink. And then we can take a look at it. Kind of gross, right Dylan? Nah, not too bad. Not too bad, something we gotta do. So, if a fawn is loose stool, they can have E. coli. How do they get E. coli? Well, they eat the uh, dirt and they get bad bacteria in their stomach and they get the runs, diarrhea, scours. So we're treating them, taking care of them. All these fawns right now, their poop looks good. Kind of gross, but we gotta look at it. That looks good, it's in pellets, right? Mm -hmm. So we keep them clean, they're on those towels, they get pressure washed every day. We got little charts up here on the wall, Brody, mm -hmm. that tell us who's who. We bred to a buck by the name of the tall one. We bred to a buck named Unchained, he was 318 at one. There's his dad to the right, Unforgiven. And then it shows our doe pedigrees and what we got going on. Old bloodline, we like the big body of Tracer. Payday, that's a crazy good buck. And one of our little yearling bucks bred this year gave us a good fawn. Brody, you can tell if they're dehydrated. We take a fawn in, how can you tell? Show me. No, uh, they start to lose all the fatty tissue on their face, so their temp temples will sink in, and you can see their jaws real well. So point to this one's temple area right, right there. Behind their eyes. Yeah. Right behind right their eye. Is this one dehydrated? No. But it would be really sunk in if he was dehydrated. What would be a cause of getting dehydrated, do you know? Mom doesn't take care of him properly. And maybe maybe uh, mom's got mastitis or she had triplets, she abandoned one for some reason. Right. So we've taken a couple fawns in that mom just wasn't doing so good. And we regulate their feed, they get goat's milk. We've had good luck with that. Some people feed cow's milk right out of the store. We prefer not to do that. Goat's milk's been really good for us. We got a bunch of hungry fawns in the room, we'll keep going. So. Brody, you got a little buck fawn we just fed. He's going outside. He gets his day run pen here. Do you love him? Yeah, a little bit. Just a little bit. He's yeah. a good buck. We were thinking about naming him Lou. Lou for Lou Cornicelli? Yeah. That might be good. And Lou wanted to kill him. He's so cute. Lying Lou. But anyway, they each get their own little run pen here. We got to watch them throughout the day. We have the towels that we've washed. We hung out. They're nice and clean. But we also need to make sure they have plenty of shade when it gets hot. If the fawn's in the direct sunlight, they can they can go downhill quick. We gotta watch them from biting flies. If they're getting harassed, they're gonna get worked up and get the scours as well. So we take good care of them. We watch them. If a rainstorm comes through, these fawns will get brought back inside. And after a while, they're gonna go in that hay barn at night. But when they're just little babies, they're going in the shop in that little stall until they're really tame. Then they come out here in these pens. Access to dirt, grass, leaves at night. And we take pretty good care of them. Dylan, yep. you've been away from the farm for a while. More or less. All right, how's it going? Pretty good. Okay, did you forget how to take care of a fawn? No, I had some practice on some puppies that are basically the same thing. Okay, sounds good.
Nolan, Brody, I mean. Nolan. What's going on with your shirt there? I've worn it a few times. And they kick your shirt when you're carrying them? Yeah. Is that what the demise of your shirt? Might have been. A lot of kicking. Yeah. Okay. 14 fawns are going good. Some of these, why are we bottle feeding them? We want tame bucks for shows. We want some tame does on the farm and people like to buy tame deer. Yep. So you get up at four in the morning. How'd that go last night? That was just fine. All right. Thanks. Yep.